On May 11, 2018, Returning to Heights Unseen, my solo album of commissioned works debuts. As an artist, new music is my driving force, and this disc contains eight of the most compelling works written for me this millennium. The flute is one of the most ancient instruments, and this project pairs it with electroacoustic technology and the human voice to push the limits of expressivity, creativity, and virtuosity. Each piece was written for me by a living composer and expresses a different take on the world in which we live. Roger Dannenberg's separation logic utilizes his own software to respond to the flute in real time, much as we both responded to the loss of the colleague to whom the piece is dedicated. Demon Daemon by Linda Kernahan has manic energy expressed through extended techniques on the flute and voice which mirror the hidden internal struggles of creative artists. Eleni Lilios's Sleep's Undulating Tide is based on a poem by The Handmaid's Tale author Margaret Atwood and quotes every flutist's favorite piece, Gluck's Dance of the Blessed Spirits, all dressed up in 21st century technology. My mentor David Stock passed too soon, but his flute duet, A Wedding Prayer, his gift to me on the occasion of my marriage, lives on in a new version for flute and fixed media, thanks to this project. Randall Wolf's The Line of Purples has a flute part based on Baroque dance forms, so it perfectly pairs with a funk rock-inspired electroacoustic soundtrack for a quintessential musical tale of old meets new. One of the most touching birthday gifts I ever received was the musical phrase which became Roger Zahab's perfectly crafted solo miniature, Suspicion of Nakedness. Tony Zelinchik gave me the medium, the instruction, and the courage to stretch into the world of improvisation. Thanks to his guided improvisation, I asked you. On September 9th, the last piece on returning to Heights Unseen, Judith Shayton's For the Fallen, premieres and I'll record it one week later at Tough Sound Recording to complete the album. The disc is nearly done, and thanks to the composers and support from Brandon Brothers Flute Makers, Bowling Green State University, and Tough Sound Recording, we've come this far. Now we need you. The first funding milestone finishes and releases Returning to Heights Unseen on Parma Recording's Nivona label for distribution through Naxos of America. And the last two goals recoup composer and performer costs already used to record, edit, and mix the album. Perks are available at every donation price point. Support individual composers with PDFs of scores featured on the album, expand your CD collection with existing discs from my discography, snag tickets to live concerts by the West Virginia Symphony Orchestra and the Pittsburgh New Music Ensemble, or receive a physical copy of Returning to Heights Unseen upon its release as a thank you for your generosity. Premium perks are also available, including a new work written for you by one of the composers featured on the album, or a private solo concert performed by me in your home. The visible breath, artificial and serene, of inspiration returning to heights unseen. This quote by Stefan Mallarmé perfectly sums up the spirit of this project, and I invite you to contribute to the success of the album with your generous donation. Thank you. <laughs>